I will present you the second exercise of this week called My Mood. The goal of the exercise is to let you manipulate Bonjour and to detect device located on the same local area network. It's important that you all use the same service. I suggest to call it underscore mood dot underscore tcp dot and the same port number which is 1990. If you are using different port or service names then the application will not see each other. You will also manipulate preferences a bit. Typically you will set the default name that is export in the device setting. Otherwise if it's not defined then you will use the device name but you can overload the device name by changing it from the device setting. And uh, it will be for you the equation to play more with UI table view controllers and with UI navigation controllers because the application is reduced to these elements. The demonstration is a bit tricky because uh, I have uh, three devices and here uh, I will just uh, set on this device uh, my name. I decide that I'm called Toto. Uh, and so it's in the settings of the my mood application if I quit these settings and if I uh, open the uh, application then I export my mood which is under the name of Toto. Then I can open the other application and you see that the second application has retrieved the mood of Toto and the third application is now opening, it's exporting its own uh, mood and you see that on the three devices uh, you have uh, some mood that is uh, set. I will change the mood, I'm not happy now, I become uh, angry. So you see that when I do the exportation then uh, the angry is reported on the two other devices and if my wife's iPhone also changes uh, of uh, humor, then you see that it's also exported on the two other device. Of course, if somebody uh, leaves, let's imagine that first uh, uh, he becomes, uh, he does the blues, uh, okay, then I export it and you see that everybody is aware now that Toto has the blues. If I do uh, quit uh, the uh, application, then you see that automatically uh, the information is unregistered from others and this is the same with the second application and of course the last one to leave uh, has no reason uh, to be uh, there anymore. Be aware of a few traps. In fact in this application you will have explicit pop in the navigation controller. In fact it depends on the press button. If you press the button on your left then the pop is automatic. If you press on the button done, then the pop is explicit because it's performed thanks to the done button. To do it, you will have to remember, I already mentioned that to you a few videos ago, that you have of course the push view controller, animated etc, but you also have a method that is rarely used, but it will be used in that specific case, which is pop view controller. So when you press this button you will activate the method pop view controller. And uh, the request to the navigation controller uh, can be done by means of uh, the view controller self. Okay so uh, in fact uh, it's uh, very easy because uh, you are in a situation where you can do it. So have fun and show your mood to uh, your friends and other students in uh, the practical uh, room. As usual you may enrich the exercise, as usual you may use the resources on the video companion web page. That's all, have fun, thank you for your attention, see you later.